If you're relatively new to shotguns, this could help clear up a few things that you may not be certain of. I bet there are even some seasoned vets that may learn something towards the end of the video. A shotgun is simple. Its original purpose is to shoot multiple projectiles in the form of pellets or BBs out the end of a barrel. This makes hitting small, fast-moving targets achievable. The size of these projectiles, called shot, will vary based on the type of game being pursued. In general, the smaller and faster the game, the smaller the shot required. Smaller shot equals more pellets. Think of each pellet as a chance. You will need more chances to hit a dove going 70 miles per hour than a duck going 45 miles per hour. The size and toughness of the animal may also require larger, heavier pellets to humanely harvest the animal. Larger pellets will come with less shot or chances in the shell. You wouldn't want to try to kill a goose with the same shot that you would use to kill a rabbit. All right, here are the most popular shot sizes from smallest to largest and their uses. Number eight is the smallest. It's usually good for trap, skeet, and rabbits. Number seven and a half is good for rabbits and doves. Number six, squirrels, turkeys, pheasants, grouse, quail, always have some number six shot on hand. Number four is pretty good for turkeys and small ducks. Number two is good for ducks and coyotes. BB is pretty good for geese and coyotes. Double lot buck is the largest. Deer in some states were legal, coyotes, personal protection, bears, and hogs. For waterfowl hunting, non-toxic shot must be used by federal law. Steel shot is the most common and most cost effective. The problem is that steel is lighter than lead, so make sure to up the size of your shot to have enough energy behind the shot to kill the bird. I use number two for most ducks and BB for late season ducks and geese. The next thing you have to consider is the choke. The choke constricts the shot coming out of the barrel. Popular examples are cylinder, which equates to no choke at all. It's just the diameter of the barrel, even though you will still have to screw it in. You got an improved cylinder, which is a slight constriction, modified, which is a medium constriction, full is a significant constriction, and an extra full is about the tightest. Generally, for hunting purposes, you will mostly be using improved cylinder with number seven and a half, and that's good for rabbits. A modified with a seven and a half shot is good for doves and pheasants. A full is good for uh, squirrels when you're shooting number six shot. Extra full for turkeys, either four, five, or six shot. But what if you're hunting more than one thing? When you're hunting multiple species in a hunt, you're usually safe to go with a modified choke and number six shot out to about 30 yards. All right, let's talk about slugs. Slugs are ideal for larger game in states or areas where rifles are not permissible to hunt with. There are two basic types of slugs. A rifled slug, often referred to as a foster slug, and a sabot slug. A rifled slug is a lead slug that is hollow on the back side. When the shell is fired down the barrel, gases will expand the slug to the dimensions of the barrel. The spiral grooves on the slug will help to spin the slug when it leaves the barrel, giving it stability in flight. They work okay. Generally, the second type, called the sabo or sabot slug, however you pronounce it, it'll be more accurate. Having said that, they are only more accurate when fired from a rifled barrel. If you don't have a rifled barrel, you need to be shooting rifled slugs. The sabot slug works completely different. The sabot is not a projectile itself, but rather a sleeve that grips the projectile in place until it exits the muzzle. When you fire a sabot slug, the material, usually plastic, expands to catch the rifling of the barrel, while still gripping the slug. As the sabot spins down the rifling, the slug spins with it. As the sabot exits the muzzle, it will start to separate from the projectile, leaving it spinning in flight. This system typically yields better accuracy 
and also gives more options of projectiles for different sized game. Remember, don't mix the two types. Rifled slugs are for smooth barrels, and sabot slugs are for rifled barrels. If you used rifled slugs in a rifled barrel, you risk damaging your rifling. The rifling in a slug barrel is cut to spin a plastic sabot, not a one ounce hunk of lead. A side note, there may be some slugs designed to work in either type of barrel, but that will be marked clearly on the box. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. We're here to help. And if you learned something, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.